Hi there. So um, today we're going to um, discuss the um, impulse response described by second order difference equation. So um, before we begin, um, I'd like to um, um, the emphasize this quote that our impulses are what reveal our character. So, um, also I've drawn some, you know, picture bamboos and then, you know, strong rigid tree. So sometimes, um, a strong, um, sudden wind or an impulse of wind. So as you can see, this bamboo will just, um, um, bend. However, um, if the wind is too strong, um, this tree might, um, break. Okay. Uh -huh. This might break. Okay, so now, you might be um, wondering what is um, the purpose of this um, impulse response. Okay, so um, in signal processing, the impulse response or impulse response function of a dynamic system is its output when presented with a brief input signal called an impulse. More generally, an impulse, res impulse response is the reaction of any dynamic system in response to some external change. So as you can see, um, um, due to this impulse response, we were able to know the behavior of the systems. So in this video, we will learn um, what's, what's the things to know before um, solving an impulse response and then um, solving the impulse response okay so let's go with the basics okay so here is the basic so this is an impulse and then this is denoted by this and also as you can see um, in, in impulse um, this is um, what happens at negative 2 it's 0 and at 1 negative 1 it's 0 and then when at n is equal to 0 it has a value and then it drops back to 0 okay also the system is initially relaxed meaning y sub negative 1 is equal to 0 and y sub negative 2 is equal to 0 and so on and so forth okay now we're ready to um, solve an um, impulse response problem okay so determine the impulse response of h of n h of n for the system described by the second order difference um, equation okay so the first step so um we're going to start with um, our first step so the first step is um uh, because um impulse response is just um the total response because um therefore you need the homogeneous and um, particular solution so um i've made a video with a previous video with regards to um, homogeneous and then a um, particular solution so you might want it to check it out before um, you know watching this video because um, it's critical that you know how to get the homogeneous solution before I'm um, diving into this concept okay so first is get the um, components so homogeneous homogeneous and then a um, particular um, solution okay so um, we've already solved this one um, I've already made a video of this so um, I'm just going to um, look for it okay mm -hmm. Alright, so um, I've already made a video of second order difference equation. So, um, for the sake of simplicity of the video, I will just um, copy this and then um, paste it into um, our current word. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. 
So um, that's our um, homogeneous uh, particular solution. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now um, we're going to solve um, the particular solution. So uh, basically. Um, the input of this or the excitation is just x of n okay is equals to um, direct delta of n okay and when the excitation is the direct delta um twice of p or the particular solution is zero okay so um um, I've made a video of um, particular solution. If you try to um, um, follow along with that and then just change the given with um, impulse, you will um, get the result of zero. Okay? So um, that's why um, in order to get the impulse response or the total response, we're just concerned of this um, homogeneous uh, particular solution. That's also one of the good thing of this, um, you know, impulse response for um, simplicity um, purposes. Okay, now we're going to um, do the step two, which is um, if you've um, watching along, you will notice that um, it's kind of um, has a pattern in which you have to um, find um, or prepare. Um, equations okay so we're going to prepare um, equations okay in order to find the value of c1 and c2 okay so usually when uh, presented by second order difference equation you have to um, prepare um, for equation okay so we're going to use the um, um, given this one okay this one okay so um y sub zero is equals to um remember that this um at y sub zero y sub negative one and y sub negative two and they will be just zero so um i will be focusing just on this one because all on the left side would be um just zero except for this one okay okay so um x of 0 is 1 okay because it's a unit step and then um, 2 x and minus 1 would be um, 0 so that's why we have this okay okay so I'm um, just to clear up um, so um, our x of n is um, a direct delta, so it's not a unit step, so I've made some mistakes. It should be um, an impulse, and we know that um, at n is equal to 0, the um, answer would be um, 1, okay, because it has a value. Okay, now we have to um, go for this um, y of 1. Okay, so at y of 1, um, it would be um, positive 3 y of 0 so it has now a value but negative 4 y of negative 1 be because 1 minus 2 is negative 1 um, it's just 0 as what, is, as what we've established in the basic um, section okay and also at x um, x of 1 it is 0 but in x of that is in x of 1 minus 1 0 so multiplied by 1 so that's 1 okay and then we have a value of y of 0 that's 1 so it would be um, 5 okay so now that's it that's our um, first equation and then second equation okay now let's go and prepare our third and fourth um, equation okay mm -hmm. so um, 
the um, third equation okay would be um, coming from this one okay so at y sub 0 c1 plus c2 okay so I just change it to um, 0 the n okay and at y sub 1 c1 would be negative c1 plus um, 4 um, c2 okay so now we have equation 4 okay so what we do here is we're just um, going to um, find the value of c1 and then um, c2 okay so um, step 3 so the step 3 would be it's an easy part because you just have to um, equate it okay so c1 plus c2 is equals to y0 and the value of our y sub 0 is 1 and um, negative c1 from equation 4 plus 4 c2 is equals to um, 5 from equation number 2 okay so and subtracting this or um, addition of this one we will um, have results of c1 minus c1 is 0 1 c1 plus 4 c2 would be 5 c2 is equals to 6 okay therefore our c2 is equals to 6 over 5 okay now I leave the rest to on how to find the value of C1 to um, your end. Okay, so you can pause the video and find the um, value of C1. I assume you've given it a go. So um, the value of C1 would be negative 1 over 5. So now um, we're nearly done. And right now we deserve a drum roll okay because um, we're nearly um, finished into um, our problem okay so um, the next step or the fourth step would be um, plug in okay so it would be easy because you just have to um, plug in the value of C1 and see to where here in our homogeneous um, solution that's why therefore our uh, y's homogeneous now would be um, c1 is negative 1 fifth negative 1 n plus c2 or the value of c2 is 6 over 5 okay 6 over 5 And then um, force of n. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then since this is an impulse response, and um, the left side is initially relaxed, as what stated in our um, basic section. Therefore, it's important to have um, this one. Okay. So now um, our homogeneous solution is also our um, impulse response because um, impulse response is just the um, just a quick summary impulse response is just the um, total response in this problem okay and then our um, total response has two um, components which is the homogeneous last particular solution but this one is zero therefore we're leave with this um, homogeneous okay so now uh, that's it so um, to give you a summary of what um, we just done is first we solve this by um, finding the homogeneous and particular solution and since particular solution is zero so that's why um, it leads to um, smaller or simpler steps and process. 
um, okay so we find the value of c1 and then after we find the value of c1 we just plug it here in our um, equation and this this is the results okay so now you've learned um, things on how to um, you know solve the impulse response of system described by second order um, difference equation okay so um, that's it I'm Jerome and have fun learning digital signal um, processing okay so if you've learned um, hit the thumbs up and then um, subscribe okay <laughs> okay so that's it bye bye